Hello and welcome to my channel Rapid Vectors. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use camera limits to limit the camera movement and create a boundary for your level. So we'll go from this view and then when camera limits are applied, we will then have this view here. So the camera has now got some limits and doesn't pass the boundary that has been applied. Now let's begin by going to our roots folder into the levels folder and then open level one. Now let's just test the scene here. And when we move the camera, we still have our level boundary here. So we don't want to see this section in the camera viewport. Now this can be done by adding a camera limit to our camera 2D. So let's just stop that. Then on level one, if we just select the camera and just scroll down into the camera options, we have a set of limits here. And then just keep scrolling down. First of all, we want to set draw limits on and then from the left we want to say zero from the top I'll just put minus 200 because we're going up in the y-axis so this is if we just zoom in on here you can see this is in the minus I'll put 200 in the right and then zero for bottom now as you can see I've now got a yellow box here and that is the camera's view limits so what we need to do is just align this line with the top of the boundary so for top, let's just increase that. And as just increasing, as you can see now, I'll use that as my top boundary. And then for right, I will set this to about 1000 for now. I can always increase it to here. So say 1600, and then we'll just increase it a little bit further. So as you can see now, we have camera limits, which encompasses the full level. Let's test the scene again. Now, when you move the camera, it's going to stay within those draw limits. So we don't have that extra background on the left hand side and just below where the level has been drawn. Now, that brings us to the end of this tutorial on how to create a boundary for your camera and limit the position using camera limits. If you like what you see in this tutorial, please remember to hit like or subscribe. Thank you for watching.